acne, a huge frustration for not only teenagers, but adults as well. And perhaps more frustrating than the acne itself is having to cope with the scars that are left behind. For many people, acne scars can be severe and they can cause a damaging blow to self-esteem. Dr. Steve Jepson is here with the good news. Those scars can be treated. We're not talking about completely disappearing, but definitely a difference can be noticed. Right, and that's one thing I always point out is once you have the scars, really hard to completely get rid of them, but we can make a big difference in terms of smoothing them out somewhat. All right, before we get to those treatments that are available, let's talk about prevention, as you point out. Yeah. That's the key to focus on. Well, I always like to point out, out that, that the best way to fix acne scars is to keep them from occurring in the first place. And so one thing I always go over with my clients is, is let's keep new scars from forming. And we've got four points here in terms of how to do that. You want to get the acne under control. So get the acne under control. Easier said than done. I know it, it, that's a whole segment in and of itself, but we can help people at our office by getting their acne under control. And one point that I do want to make is adult females with acne, especially cyclical acne, the acne especially that scars around the mouth, a lot of times that's that's hormonal. And if we can identify the hormonal problem and fix the hormonal problem, that acne will go away and those scars will stop forming. And a lot of people don't realize the connection there though, yeah. but it's a powerful It's, it's a powerful, powerful connection. connection and it's sadly a lot of dermatologists don't even address that. So it's something definitely to, to, to talk to your doctor about or come see us about. All right, next one sounds like a reminder right here from my mom. Don't pick. Yep. Both lesions. And I'm amazed at how many people still do. They come in, they say, you know, I know I shouldn't pick, but I picked this one. Mm -hmm. And that will scar. And those are deep lesions. If you pick them, if you pop them, a lot of times it'll leave a scar behind. Not a good idea. An at-home device you say that actually works and helps prevent is just an over-the-counter. Is it Zeno? Is it's that called Zeno. Called? I have Zeno? a Zeno here. You know, it's been out for a couple of years. And the idea here is to deliver heat from the tip of this into the actual lesion. So when you feel a lesion coming on, put it on the lesion, it kills the bacteria, the lesion won't form. It works best for the deep cystic lesions and works definitely best if you use it before the, before, in the first 24 hours. About 150 bucks available? 150 bucks available at most department stores. I think Walgreens even carries it now. Okay, and finally in terms of prevention, you say to avoid cortisone injections. Yeah, don't go, go, don't get those cortisone shots. I have a lot of patients that call my office and ask if I give them and I don't do it because cortisone destroys the tissue underneath the lesion. So the lesion will go away, you know, faster. You may, it may go away a couple of days faster but it often will leave a scar behind. So don't get cortisone injections. I don't recommend them. All right, now that's the prevention and hopefully taking those steps. But once we do get to the point of scarring, you do point out again, scars will fade, not disappear. And you say superficial skin treatments don't help. Yeah, I, you know, people, I have a lot of people that will tell me, oh, I did six microderm treatments and my scars didn't get better. You know, it's a waste of your money. They're, they're too superficial. The damage from an acne scar is very deep. There's been a lot of collagen loss. Those treatments don't address the underlying problem. It'll take off a little bit of skin, but won't make the scar look much better. So that microderm abrasion, chemical peels, not a big difference from those. What about dermal fillers? Dermal fillers do make a big difference. Juvederm, Restylane can be injected underneath the scar to kind of fill that area under the scar and pull the skin back out so the scar doesn't look as obvious. Disadvantage to those is they only last about six months. I typically will recommend those if somebody has one or two scars that really are bothering them, we can fill it and make the scar look a lot better. Okay, so that's an option for certain faces. Finally, the deep FX laser treatment is a great option you say for the overall yeah, scars. I think the best way to treat acne scars now is with laser technology. Laser technology has come a long way. I've talked about various kinds of lasers on the show before. I use one called Deep FX for acne scarring. What it does is it uses the laser energy to go down underneath the scar and stimulate collagen underneath to grow underneath the scar and kind of fill the scar in from below. It's very effective. Um, the, the, the effects are permanent as opposed to the effects from the fillers which are kind of temporary. Again, doesn't completely get rid of the scars but makes a huge difference and I think that it is the best laser on the market right now for dealing with acne scarring. How many treatments before you see the results? One. One? Yeah, one. Okay. Uh, you know acne scarring sometimes a second treatment after about six months to a year but you can see a big difference about a 50 percent difference after after a single treatment. So, very non-invasive you're in you're out. You're in you're out you know there's some downtime you're you look a little bit red for for a week afterwards but it really is a, a relatively simple treatment and a good way to to reduce those scars significantly. Well, a lot of people out there thinking I have have those scars, I'd like to reduce them. You do have that laser available at your office. We do, and we're doing 20% off right now for Studio 5 viewers through the month of May. 20% off on that laser treatment, a huge savings there. You can, of course, get in touch with Dr. Jepson and his staff at the spot, the Utah Dermatologics and Medical Procedures Clinic. Their website, utahlasermd.com. We'll have all of that information available for you on our website as well. Steve, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, coming up, flowers 